Hello and welcome back to another update. This is breaking news and it's your host Whip Union. We are going through a Iranian attack on Israel. The Iranians has launched a massive drone and missile strike towards Israel. It is on its way over the airspace of Iraq and Iran so far and it is expected to hit by dawn in local time. This is a massive attack including tens if not hundreds of drones there are conflicting reports it is said that the first wave consists of over 50 drones and a second wave is being launched could be that there will be several waves launched or it could also be misinformation we'll have to see but it's also reported that winged missiles are being launched from iran to israel this could also be a reference to the drones and it is also reported that cruise missiles will be launched as the drones get closer and closer so that the cruise missiles and the drones hit at the same time. This is likely also going to be seeing drones being shot from Iraq, Syria and Lebanon towards Israeli positions all throughout the country in anticipation of this massive strike from Iran. The course of events that is likely to take place in this massive strike is that the Iranians will send wave after wave, so far it is reported three waves of drones from Iran to Israel. At the same time, they'll launch massive strikes of missiles, both cruise missiles and other missiles, to hit Israel by dawn. In the time between now and dawn, it is likely that Hezbollah will start launching massive missile strikes across Israel to grain and grind down the Israeli air defense capacity. The Hezbollah claimed at the start of the battle between Gaza, Hamas and Israel that there's going to be about 150,000 missile strikes that they are able to launch from their Lebanese territory. If that number is remotely close, even a tenth of that, meaning 15,000, they can significantly weaken the Israeli air defense by simply taking out its ammunition. If the Lebanese in Hezbollah continuously attack Israeli territory during the time between the Iranian strikes and them actually hitting Israeli territory, Israeli air defense could be significantly weakened by that time and the effectiveness of the Iranian strike would significantly increase. The Israeli Air Force One, which is the massive doomsday plane that the Israelis have in case of a massive war or a nuclear apocalypse, has been has gone up in the air, including the official staff of the Israeli army and government, the top level people are in that chat and they are going flying around for safety. At the same time, the US central com commander of the United States forces in the Middle East has also left Israel ahead of this expected attack by Iran. This is the first time in history that Iran has directly attacked Israel and it is expected to be a massive strike. Ahead of this strike, it is reported that there was a Iranian hacker attack on the Israeli capital of Tel Aviv, which left the air going to this picture, the whole city in darkness. We are seeing that the Iranians have a well planned out, well thought out operation to launch this massive strike on the Israelis. Now the real question is how well will the Israeli air defense deal with this attack? As soon as the news broke out of this massive strike being launched from Iran and we saw the first videos over Iraq and Iran showing these drone strikes as we see in this footage here we see massive strikes of these drones there's a massive sound from these drones as they make a lot of sound as they fly by the drones have a payload of about 50 kilograms and operational range of about 2500 kilometers and a speed of 185 kilometers per hour this means it will take approximately 10 hours from Tehran to Tel Aviv. The drone strikes were launched recently a few hours ago between two to four hours ago which means that it is still about six hours until the first drones arrive which is about dawn and we are also expected to see massive missile strikes being launched by Iran cruise missiles. At the same time we see that the Yemenis and the Houthis in the Yemen has also launched drones towards Israel. Based on the distance, the Iranians and Yemenis are the first to launch. Following that will likely be the Iraqis, then the Syrians, finally the Lebanese. This will likely be a coordinated strike between Iran and all of its allies in the region. 
and this will likely lead to a massive strike on Israeli soil. The Israelis are responding to this with this video here when Netanyahu says that they are ready to deal with such a massive strike over Israeli territory, their air defense is prepared, the air force is prepared and everything is prepared. They are simply waiting for the strikes to arrive. However, they also warn that their air defense is not 100% so everyone needs to take shelter. It will likely be a long night for the Israelis going into the shelters across the nation. The culmination of all of these strikes will naturally happen in the dawn as that is when the arrivals are expected to happen. We may see a massive strike by all of these allies combined. That is what we have covered so far. Now, what will happen when this happens, when, this, when these strikes hit? Likely the Israelis will go for a retaliation. The question is what sort of retaliation? What is 100% for sure is that they will look to attack Iran itself, whether it be the air bases or industrial capacity of the Iranians to produce these drones or simply decision-making centers, generals, political leaders, etc. of Iran to hit the ones making the decision, or it could be military bases across the country. If it goes back into this situation where it's a back and forth, and especially if the United States involves itself, it can develop into a massive war in the region, including all of these countries of Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon. This could create the biggest war in the Middle East in centuries, even bigger than the Iraq war and Afghanistan wars. Iran itself is a massive country, it's a massive military, it has industrialized, which means that this is a completely different army compared to the Afghani army when the United States invaded it in 2001. It is more comparable to the Iraqi army in 2003, but it is way stronger and it is not a desert, it is instead a mountainous region, which means it is the Iraqi army in Afghanistan. And this will be a very, very difficult job for the US army especially considering that the Iranians have a strong enough coast guard to defend its own coast and the United States has no allies in the region that could allow the United States to help them. The closest would be a ground invasion from Turkey as a NATO country, but it also raises the question, would Turkey put itself in the front lines of a war with Iran, especially is, as it includes Syria and Iraq as well? Generally, there's too much speculation in this, but it will be a very costly, very deadly, and a very long war if it happens. Back to the attack itself, it is reported by Iranian officials that they have started an attack on Israel, and they also expect an Israeli strike back against Iran, and to that they state any country that opens their airspace or territory to Israel to attack Iran, they will strike back against them. While we are waiting these strikes, an Israeli official has told a Axios reporter that the Iranian military attack includes hundreds of attack drones. The Shahed drones that the Iranians have developed and are launching against Israel have proven themselves in the Russo-Ukrainian war as they hit Ukrainian targets across the country as the Russians have used them. The Ukrainians at that time has had uh, access to Patriot systems, RST systems and other systems comparable to what the Israelis has and they have hit their targets nonetheless. The Ukrainians have proven to hit about 50% of the targets. If hundreds of drones are launched against Israel, it is likely that half of those would hit if a similar case happens here and that would mean hundreds of strikes on Israeli territory. Meanwhile, Jordanian air defense officials have told that they are ready to intercept and shoot down any Iranian drones or aircraft that violates its airspace, two regional security sources says. So we see that there is a massive escalation going on in the Middle East, and we'll have to wait until dawn to see exactly what happens. Will these strikes actually hit Israeli territory? How much damage will they cause? What are their targets? And how will the Israelis respond to this? We are likely going to see an escalation further and further down the road of escalation in the circle of death and destruction that is happening in the Middle East since the dawn of the millennia. And that is going to be all for this update. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.